Aries. Aries, please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Aries energy reading for this week ahead. It is a tarot card reading for Aries sun, moon, and rising sign. It's a timeless message that comes to you when you're ready to hear it. When you are open and receptive to its message. There's a new message every week. So if you really love them, please remember to subscribe to this channel. And definitely join the BWOB membership, especially because that gives you access to every single extended reading unlimited for as long as you're a member plus a lot of other perks so it's got a lot of value for you click that link below it's there or you could just go to the front page of the channel and hit the join tab um if you're looking for personal readings aries i do do those you'd have to check out my website for that born without boundaries tarot.com and you could just schedule and book whatever works for you whatever's whatever it whatever you need Let's get into this reading. Okay, here we go. Aries. Aries. It's so close to falling in your lap. Something is so near and so tangible or about to be. Uh, maybe even in some ways you want to get out of something, right? You're, you're, but it's like, it's like almost like standing at a door and ready to push through it. So hold on. This is beautiful. Sweet results await. And I didn't expect this. So this is really nice. This sense of good things happening to hardworking people. Something that you have been working your butt off on and putting a lot of energy. The busy bee gets the honey. And they get the honey now. This could also represent Leo energy, which could represent your pride and your ego. Usually upright, it means that you're being seen. You're being recognized and noticed for all that you've done and contributed. Because that's Leo energy, it could also mean romance. But it certainly highlights the seven. And the seven is the day of work. It is the work cycle, which includes rest. But there's a sense of work to do and being successful at it know your worth oh my god aries this is a reminder coming through for you that you are valuable that your work shows it and that maybe you have done work that just leveled your value up wow also don't be afraid to be good at what you are good at and be interested in what you are interested in because it will yield beautiful results and this is a great time to kick it off and start it we also have butterfly spirit transformation is beautiful so there is this opening up or becoming leveling up becoming the newer version of yourself this is scorpionic energy this is actually aries energy this is scorpionic energy um transform tra transformation but specifically metamorphosis so you are you're moving on to a stage of your experience that is a culmination of what you've experienced thus far and it's working out beautifully and that really goes right along with this energy of the sun card or the the b card 
which is you have worked this much and now there's honey that's going to be yielded you've lived your life as that caterpillar and now you're growing your wings so this is definitely a leveling up and improvement upon and a success in some ways maybe even a strategic success something will be working out for you okay then we have be playful so it's almost like good times are afoot because you've worked so hard and remember how i said this seven days part of it is a rest we know that from our spiritual teachings so there is that sense of allow yourself to enjoy these wings allow yourself to enjoy or you're gonna you're gonna get an opportunity to actually really be happy right now because you've given yourself that buffer through what you have been working on be playful is stay light the piper spirit sandpiper spirit is very gemini energy stay light stay surface level stay in the shallows enjoy what you have and what you see and be playful this sense of oh my god it's almost like lightness could be vacation you know like lightening up and it is and allow it God saying, don't stress yourself out and say, no, I got to go back. I got to torture myself to feel like I'm anything at all. No, you've worked really hard. There is something maybe even to celebrate, but certainly to give yourself some time to realize I've earned it. I have it. No one's going to take it from me. I can dance and play for at least a second or so. Let's get into tarot. something is working out beautifully Aries we have the Queen of Swords you have a lucky head forward it's almost like you've been given a green light it's almost like you know what you're dealing with and the way is clear and now you have confidence that you're going to be able to handle it so you can actually go into the strategy phase of things this could also mean that you are dealing with a Libra. Are you dealing with a Libra? But it's balancing out or finding a way to make things work. Maybe especially in your relationships. In other words, now you understand that maybe it is the exact opposite of something that you normally felt comfortable in. But you can start feeling comfortable in this give and take in letting somebody in if you've been having problems with a relationship Aries the good news is things can actually start to balance themselves out especially through excellent communications the way will be clear wheel of fortune is here this is what listen this is worth not giving up on number one and the solutions are at hand or you're starting to see even in the problems you're starting to see the solutions to those problems there is this sense of you're not stuck it isn't ruined you don't have to give up there is certainly a prosperous way forward i say so the justice card could even be a decision that's been made in your favor or a judicial decision that's been made over your head that ends up clearing out a path for you or helping you to be able to plot your way forward this is all very positive stuff even if it's coming from a heavy place once again let's go back to the oracle cards it's going to get lighter and it's going to lighten up especially through information and conversation so let's go deeper aries something in the past wow not too long ago things really crashed down I'm gonna I gotta get more okay so this card came out not too long ago or maybe there was a sense of I've gotten to a point where I'm just done I'm frustrated and I'm finished and that is good sometimes it's exactly where we need to get in order to begin again but I want some more information on the Ten of Swords. What was this exactly, God? What happened? Can you clarify? You were left alone or you decided to go somewhere alone. Maybe you even decided to sneak away. Or this, we're talking about a job. There was a, a loss of a job. Something's happening here. A loss of a job. Could be. 
like you got cut out it didn't work could have really messed you up right this is whatever setback this caused you i'm telling you you're on you're you're rounding the corner to it not bothering you anymore and it's it's at hand that that turning of the corner is at hand it's not going to be too far from now whatever this was this abrupt and it wasn't an abrupt ending it you took a lot of hits a lot of guff a lot of backstabbing too especially if you lost a job there was there was a nasty stuff that happened or something to do with health could very well have been something that was impeding your health or had to do with the health of somebody that you cared about um this sense of looking for answers to it and not finding them but let's see we have aries here now which means suddenly there's action that you could take on something that you very much there's action that you can take and there's progress and it's intuitive and divine timing. So it's first of all, it's really wonderful to see you showing up in your own reading as the emperor. This sense of confidence and personal authority and personal value. This sense of yes, I'm I'm worth it and I and I should move forward or I can do this on my own. Um there's something here coming to you. In divine timing in the future or the future is now it's almost like you become a leader first you're like getting kicked out and you lost something people aren't valuing you and then all of a sudden it's like I've become a leader let's get more specific here what do you mean there's major arcana here this could be even global could be war I know that sounds horrible but yeah, so we have this nine of swords. This is sickness. This is worry. Something that you have been concerned about. There is a there is a um, a decision that's coming through that's actually going to help to balance this out and make this right. We have the page of wands. Something new for you, a new beginning, beginning over again, starting again. Um this nine of swords is it's almost like it brought you to your knees, but you found a way to begin again. Page of Wands, something new or a new solution, deciding to take action on a new solution because what you were doing wasn't working and you had to stop it. So it's like now is the time where you've, you've done your research or you've done your thinking about this and you have a certainty about this so much that now you know what the new direction is. That's really interesting energy. Let's get a moon card. We do have a full moon coming up on December 26th. It's a full moon in Cancer, so it will be pretty emotional. Nothing. You got nothing. Let's see. Aries. Aries. Nope. There's no moon card coming out why for aries this is piscean energy oh it's got to do with something like mm. so this is in the past balance spirituality and practicality and this probably has showed you some harsh ending or somebody doing some fucked up stuff to you this is that sense of balance spirituality and practicality it was a hard lesson that you had to learn that showed you it was necessary to not plunge into something based on the fantasy of it, but instead start really grounding yourself in the reality. It was like you got a hard reality check not too long ago. There could be a lot of attention and emotion that you have to release around that. But what's the way forward for Aries? What's the way forward? There's disappointment here. Damn. Maybe it's even disappointment in yourself. Because they're still wearing your heart on the sleeve. We have this Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. Let's move forward. Forward in faith. It's like even though you're disappointed in something, it's not completely over yet. And then we have moving forward in faith. Or showing your hand and showing your heart. 
it's almost like you're deciding to, you're making the decision to not quit or give up on someone or something because you know that moving forward things are going to get better and i can say this to you right now that's a confirmation things are absolutely on their way to getting better you know how i know this and i like this this energy because it means you figured things out it means all the fears and all the worries that's all those freaking swords they've actually paved the way for you to understand which direction you have to move to move forward so the gift this week that's coming to you aries is that it is now going to be clear how to make this work and and or which direction to move in there is no more confusion there is total acceptance there's not resignation there's happiness here because it's almost like oh now i know what i need to do or now i see the opportunities opening up this could this is a decision that even though you were just disappointed or suffered a great disappointment you decided to still you chose love you know you chose love and you chose connectivity and ultimately that's what's going to help you move or get through or decide to move forward with something and the universe is most certainly encouraging you to move forward with something. Aries, a leg up. Guys, I know you've been through a lot, right? There's been a rough patch, especially. It wasn't permanent. You're going to start reaping the success of hanging in there. This is what's coming to you. Let's get a little bit deeper. I'll see you guys in the extended.